I thought it would be bad of me just to give a negative review of a series on uh, for today. So I decided I'm going to review Star Wars Issue 3, which is In the Shadow of Yavin Part 3. Now this is the first story arc. The trade's already out, so hopefully I will get through this fast enough. I'm not going to review the, the fucking um, free comic day one because I didn't read it. I have two copies of it, and I haven't read either. Um, but this is an interesting um, issue. My favorite story is starting to pick up, the Han Solo story. I mean, I like all the stories in here, uh, but um, Han Solo and Chewbacca's is my favorite because Han Solo I find hilarious. Um, so... Han so the plan that happened at the end of um, issue two, which spoilers if you haven't read issue two, why are you looking up a review for issue three, or if you if you haven't read the first two issues, why are you looking up a review for issue three? Even still, why are you? How far are you behind? We're on issue twelve comes out this week. Come on. So um, issue three. Um, Han Solo's arm steel goes to shit. Bad. Which I, I find really fascinating. Um, it's the, it's the most action-packed of the stories. Uh, Luke gets in trouble, Luke and another pilot, they get in trouble for screwing around. Um, and we find out, uh, where Vader's punishment is. Which is really fascinating, I'm not gonna spoil that now. But, uh. Yeah, it's fascinating to look at it. Well, to to marvel in the his Oso oh punishment. And we have the new commander of Vader's Star Destroyer. He unveils his plan at the end of the issue. Overall, pretty good issue, I must say. Um, I really like this. I really like the series so far. Well, of course I do. I'm, I'm caught up on it, reading it. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. Good artwork, as always. Good story. And I like how it's staying canon, and that Star Wars Empire and Rebellion series is still canon within this. So, have a nice day, everyone. And may the Force be with you.